Billings Clinic provides mental health care um, through a couple different options throughout Montana and Wyoming. We uh, uh, see patients here at the uh, Behavioral Health Center, uh, mostly outpatients. We also have inpatient service at a different section in the hospital. Uh, another thing we do is uh, called Integrated Behavioral Health, where we work with some social workers um, reviewing the charts and helping out with uh, primary care patients. But we uh, take care of patients throughout the whole kind of region of Montana and Wyoming. There is a huge need for mental health services within the state of Montana. Unfortunately, Montana is one of the states with the highest rates of suicide within the country. Plus, by history, we have a shortage of psychiatrists across the state. Our goal is that with the residency program, we will be able to train our own, grow our own, and have people stay within the state of Montana to provide services across our region. The mission of the psychiatry residency is to train excellent psychiatrists to practice, in, especially in rural and community settings. Uh, we are particularly interested in training psychiatrists to practice here in the state of Montana, but also Wyoming and uh, other places that are underserved. I think some of the innovations that Billings Clinic has is we uh, started Project ECHO, um, where we expand healthcare outcomes to the rural settings in Montana. Um, we have four Project ECHOs that are currently going. Um, integrated behavioral health in adult and pediatrics as well as a Department of Corrections. I think that we get to see patients that wouldn't normally or I think there are patients that wouldn't reach out for counseling or there's still stigma around uh, getting mental health care and so I think we get to really provide whole person care and we get to help reduce stigma and that they get to get this type of treatment and support in primary care. There's the empath unit, uh, the psychiatric stabilization unit, um, which is a really special uh, thing to be able to add to um, crisis intervention um, and emergency psychiatry um, and will allow us uh, and has already allowed us uh, to um, help to stabilize people outside of the inpatient unit so that they don't have to go all the way to hospitalization. Other fantastic things about this program is it's, it's set up so that you're seeing plenty of patients but there's also a lot of opportunity to not only learn but also to teach other people. For example, this, this uh, program is heavily involved with the ECHO program. Uh, there's also a research curriculum where you learn in depth how you would design and propose a study to, to further you know psychiatric research that can go from bench to bedside and uh, these are two wonderfully unique things that I've really appreciated about the program. The residency will be structured in a, I think a pretty interesting manner that will really facilitate learning and growth. Uh, the first two years for the inpatient and consult experience will be in Seattle, Washington at those large academic medical centers uh, like Harborview and the University Hospital. Uh, after two busy years there, they'll move out to our community setting here in Billings, Montana, uh, and we're planning to really uh, individualize it for our residents' interest, especially for rural and community psychiatry. Uh, the didactics so far are closely aligned with the uh, University of Washington general psychiatry didactics. Um, we work very closely with our colleagues out in Seattle for supervision and didactic planning. I think a great thing about this program is to be able to train and practice in a rural setting. I get to understand the challenges of working in a remote area and understand what we have access to and what areas we need to be creative about. I think that we have a great opportunity to work with a lot of different attendings, staff, and a great community. And what I'm hoping is, is that the residents experience here, uh, because of the size and because of the relationships that um, we can have. Um, I'm hoping that it'll be a hard place to leave. Growing up in a rural setting, I was exposed early on to what uh, the stigma of mental health can do and affect others. I think it's really important and it's become my passion to be able to educate and enlighten those around us to be able to help those who are struggling with mental health. I think Montana has a fantastic quality of life to offer. Uh, everyone talks a lot about how many outdoor opportunities and how much there is to do in the area, which uh, I think is very easy to see. Uh, even just living in town, there's quite a bit to do that is pretty exceptional. But Billings, Montana in particular has a different sort of quality where it also has a lot of the amenities of a larger city. I think the highest and most 
important thing with all that, however, is the quality of people and how that really results in a truly high quality of living. Just moving here, I've met almost all of my neighbors just in a short time. Everyone here is friendly and there's that Western sense of hospitality that just pervades everything that we do. One of the things that I think growing up here and then that draws me to um, just this area is the accessibility to just like the rims and walking, hiking, biking. I'm a, a, a cyclist, so I can hop on my bike right after work and get in an amazing ride. Relatively very quiet, relaxed place. There's rarely any significant traffic. If you have young children or a, a young family, you should feel very safe going on walks and going on little trips and it's just a wonderful place to 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 raise a family. My family and I uh, like spending a lot of time outdoors. Uh, living in Billings has afforded me and my wife the option to actually have a small five-month-old puppy. Uh, started doing lots of hiking, lots of hunting and fishing and we're hoping to start doing a lot more skiing uh, this year once the snow starts falling. Additionally, we've been bouncing all around town and enjoying all of the good food and all of the entertainment that Billings has to offer.